Hey, good life riders. Welcome back to the vlog. As I told you last week, we left the cold and snow of Nebraska, took a little flight down to Florida, took in some vacation time, but I also took in a rider's course from Ride Like a Pro, Jerry Moto Man Paladino. And I'm going to give you a little bit of a review of that course, what I think about it, and tell you a little bit about the course and let you know whether you should take that course or not yourself. Hey everyone, so I wanted to give you a little preface to this video. When I took the course, um, I, I didn't do any exchanges with Jerry as far as I paid the full price of the course. As I took the course, I told him I would like to do a review of the course. And I said, I'll share with you some of my 360 footage that you'll see in the review here. And in return, he shared with me some of his footage that they take at every single course. So if you've not seen the Ride Like a Pro YouTube channel, you should check it out. I'll put it in, the, I'll link it in the description. I'll put it up above here. And you can check out some of his videos. He gives reviews of some of his different courses, talks about some of the different things that he sees. And I think he goes back and reviews these classes every week that he does, and then gives people feedback through his YouTube channel. So it's kind of a pretty pretty powerful thing. I, I've, I've learned as much from that as I have going to his course, but just wanted to give you that little preface as we start this video. Okay, so as we started the course, we started with a slow race just to get used to the clutch uh, friction zone. And then we went to this slow cone weave and the really great part of all this is Donna out here giving instruction, helping people out, giving them tips to get through the course. And then Jerry is out here actually walking through and giving us instruction. Don't look at that cone. Look away ahead. Right to that green cone. Now turn your head. Over here. Over here. That's where you want to go. So I'll let you see me going through the course here. I'm going to wipe. Road King, so the object of this exercise, the slow cone weave, is to get the bike dipping and swaying so that you can realize that you can lean the bike and you're gonna need this as we go through other exercises. So each one of these exercises that they do builds on each other. So first we were doing the slow cone weave, then we go into a circle where we have to get our head around to get the to make the turn. So here we're doing a really wide circle and later as we go through this they tighten the circle down with more of the, the exercises that we do. There I kind of finished really after the guy had knocked over all the cones. And then as we go through each one of these different circuits, these different exercises, the first thing that we do is we get off the bike, Jerry talks us through it, and then Donna actually goes through and does the exercise for us and displays for us how it's supposed to be done. The professional, the little lady, runs that big bike around. And as you can see, both Donna and Jerry aren't the tallest people, but they still work the bike well because they use the right techniques. So here I'm getting ready to run this offset cone weave exercise that we're doing. And so one thing I will say there, I had a little bit of trouble, stumbled, and you'll see as we go through these, uh, you start out maybe not very well at an exercise and as you work it and you start doing the techniques, you get better at it. And, and even through this one there, I had a problem again and I have a problem here at the end. But one thing I will say is the, the only complaint that I have of the whole course is if, if Jerry would have during these parts of 
the class if he would have told us what skills out on the road these different things were going to help us with. So here I am going through it again. Uh, this is either my second or third time through. We went through multiple times to learn these things. But I think if, if I would have been told exactly what skills that I was going to be learning, I think it would have helped cement more the skills that they were, were teaching us. Um, I know one of the other guys had problems. He dropped his bike a few times. And he said he didn't understand why we were doing these slow maneuvers, these corners when he doesn't use that riding on the road. But what it actually does is this is how you would avoid, if you had to avoid a, a car that turned in front of you, you need to be able to move like this. So then the next thing, the next part of the skill that we do with this is we had to do a complete circle back into that area, one to the left and then one to the right. And then we would go through the rest of the, the cone weave. So these skills each build on each other and we will get to where we use this skill later on. So then the next exercise that we went through is called the cross intersection. So it's kind of a use of a U-turn and then also turning corners. So this is about 24 feet wide in between each of these. And we're supposed to make these corners and stay on our side of the road. Here I am, I've got my rental bike now. First I couldn't, didn't get the rental bike, the guy didn't bring it to me. So that's why I was using one of the Ride Like a Pro bikes. They loaned it to me for that short period of time, but you can also rent their bikes. So if you're coming to the Tampa area, you have no excuse. You can get a bike from them. You don't need to bring yours down and you can take the course. They do them on Sunday mornings, every Sunday morning. Now this is how you're supposed to actually do all these. I'm a, I'll let Donna run through and show the right way to do every one of these exercises. And then I'm going to go through and show you me going through with my 360 camera. So here's, here's me going through on with the 360 camera so I can move it around as we're going through. So we're going to hit that green cone and then make a U-turn. And then right away, we're supposed to be looking at the next green cone. Probably the biggest challenge for me in this hydraulic clutch bike was holding that friction zone. Uh, that gave, really gave my forearm a workout. And the other challenge was me not looking. As you see there, I didn't look fast enough. And those were probably the biggest challenges for me. Very first time in the snowman. Got one cone down. Built up to this exercise. Safe. So here I'll show you the view from my 360 camera on my bike and I'm doing the snowman circle, same one where I clipped the cone at the beginning there. It kind of threw me off a little bit, not initially that much. So the big thing with this exercise is there's green cones 180 degrees from each other and as we go through the circle we're supposed to look at each of these green cones. Now I was having a big problem of not keeping my revs up and as I go into this third cone uh, I, I let my clutch out, actually I pulled my clutch in and I dropped the bike initially and then I had a little trouble in the next time trying it, went out and did some work on my own and then this is my third try going through the snow cone and this time I, I worked really hard to keep my revs up and to get my friction zone set just right so I could keep my speed up a little bit. And I'm, I made it through this time. Was proud to be able to have done it after having the trouble I was having. And then you'll see here, Jerry gives a little commentary with me doing it this time. Here's our only rider who hasn't made it yet. Made 
it this time. It wasn't pretty, but he made it. Hey, so hope you enjoyed that little review of the Ride Like a Pro course. This is an advanced type riding course, but I would recommend it for anyone who wants to improve your skills as a rider. Whether you're a young rider or you're an old rider, improving your skills to be a better rider out on the road, to be safer, to be more confident, to be more competent even in riding your bike. Um, I, th I think this course gives you that. I'm walking away from it with things that I know that I didn't do well and I'm looking forward to getting into the riding season and being able to work on those things to be able to improve my ability as a rider and to improve my ability riding the big Electroglide classic bike. You know, having a bigger bike like that, I think taking a course like this, you know, here we spend thousands of dollars on a motorcycle and just, you know, a couple hundred dollars on learning greater skills. Um, I have the DVD collection and taking the course. And if I wanted to take the course again, it's only half price. So, and I, and I think the, the benefit of taking the course compared to just buying the DVDs is the instruction that you get when you're at it. Um, going through the course all the way, having those little tidbits of things that you can improve on. And then for me, being able to go back and look at the video from what I did, I think that's really gonna help me when I actually go out and do the practices to get myself better at writing. That is what my review is of the course. I think if, if you're either in the area of where one of his courses are, or you are going to be traveling to those areas, it is well worth it to take the time to do the course. But hope that gave you some good information. Hope you will join me in going to another one of those courses and improve your skills to make yourself a better writer. So till next time, keep the sunny side up, keep the rubber side down, and have an utterly awesome day.